this is the Amiya G2 hub comes as a kit you get the two uh, CNC machine plates three bolts and three nuts now these nuts have been already installed into one of the plates but these are uh, they come as individual pieces and what you need to do with the nut is basically take one and insert it into the pocket these these have pockets and this is a press fit and just simply take the nut and press fit it carefully over a flat uh, uh, surface and repeat the same thing with the other nuts and they they seat a little bit deep into the almost halfway into this uh, uh, part so that's how those uh, parts are installed and the reason for the press fit is so that you don't have the hassle of um, losing one of the uh, nuts in the process of installing these uh, parts um, unlike the, uh, the original stock plate you can see the difference there's quite a bit of difference in uh, in uh, thickness and that's because these plates are, are very thin they work but uh, they don't last very long and so these are uh, the Mia rotor hub plates are a little more a lot more beefier and they will hold a lot better because these parts are also made of Delrin as opposed to the stock parts which are made of ABS. ABS is a cheaper plastic and it's uh, widely used in the uh, uh, toy industry for parts that uh, don't require a lot of uh, um, stress or, or forces. Unfortunately this part, they should have made this part a little bit better I think. It was made in ABS and this is what happened. It broke it uh, after so much uh, use and abuse. It took, uh, took a hit and it broke right at the, at the neck here. So anyway, that's the difference between these parts and the AMIA upgrades. We'll put these parts away. And let's go back to the installation of this uh, setup here with the uh, MIA G2 uh, flex plate, the single bolt mount uh, plates. Now these plates are the same. They have a pocket on each of the corners here. And whether you use the top or the bottom, it doesn't matter. Whether you insert the uh, nut, press fit that nut on one plate or the other, it doesn't matter. What matters is the in, in the installation that you try to align this. Take the plate. Okay, so take one of the plates, the one without the nuts, and insert the screws. Now the screws should sit inside the pockets. And you can press it with a screwdriver just so that they eventually they will seat inside the pocket once you start tightening the bottom plate so just make sure these are all installed you need to make sure is that you have the MIA logo facing you so that it reads MIA or MIA install the top of the rotor hub plate and lock it with the bottom one and do this uh, carefully and slowly making sure that you tighten all three screw screws equally one at a time you don't want to install one all the way down and then the other one because that tends to skew the the uh, assembly here so you want to do it equally little by little okay if for some reason the screw is not grabbing you need to push the nut a little bit further down so in this case I'm going to unscrew this to allow some room for the nut to uh, go down inside the pocket and just pr simply press that a little bit deeper and that should grab onto the nut and there we go now, now it grabbed okay so you install all three nuts the plate is uh, secured in sandwich form to the upper and lower hub plates 
and you should be set to go.